All right, so today the country commemorates World TB Day, the day which has acknowledged that globally it seeks to mobilize all sectors of society to join in the national efforts to create a TB awareness. This year's commemorative event is being held in KwaZulu Natal and it's hosted by the Zulu King Gudul Zulitini and the Deputy President of South Africa, David Mabuza. For more on the story, let's now cross live to our reporters, Bonga Konge Mbata, who is at the Ngosi Albert Lituli Hospital in Durban to us. A very good morning to you, Bonga. I see you joined by the health MEC in case and uh, Dr. Zbongi Senidromo. A very good morning to you as well, Palesa. As of course you have just said, we are coming to you live from outside entrance of Inkosi Albert Lutuli Hospital, which is relatively one of the biggest hospitals we have in the province. So what better venue to speak about health issues, to speak about what's being commemorated today, which is tuberculosis, and to better understand what more can be done riding under the theme to end TB and HIV. We're uniting leadership, accommodating African leadership, traditional leaders, religious um, leaders, councillors, members of society, business, because all sectors of society have to converge for the country to be able to decrease new infections around this epidemic. But to better understand and to kickstart this discussion around how we can curb in terms of fighting new infections around TB, especially in Guazulu Natal, we will understand that this province is the leading province when it comes to new infections of this particular disease. I have with me the MEC for Health in Guazulu Natal, Dr. Smong Seni Tomo, to better understand what can be done to actually start this dialogue moving forward. We can never have enough to be able to discuss a way forward. What more can be done? Where is the province sitting at this current juncture? Good morning, MEC. Good morning, ma'am, and good morning to all the uh, uh, morning live viewers. Uh, we want to piggyback on some of the successes. As we had rightly put it, we are the leading province in terms of HIV, TB, and, and many other heavy burden disease. And we now look at what has happened. You probably may recall that in 2009, there was a call that was made by our government, by leaders, to really get everybody to go out there and test. And we have seen that, therefore, there's been an increased number of those that we have put on treatment on HIV. So the success story that we pick from there is that if you get community leaders, leaders who've got authority and leaders who've got um, respect in the community, like our traditional leaders, as today would be blessed by the presence of His Majesty, we can go and make a good stride. Because this has become now a societal matter. This province has seen a success story in terms of the call that was made by our king uh, in 2009 towards male medical circumcision. In the very few weeks, we have been inviting you to actually mark a one million man circumcised. And the scientists will therefore tell us what will be the impact thereof. But um, today's uh, message is a call of our leaders, particularly traditional leaders led by His Majesty to say, can we take this forward? Can we have an action of all of us? Because yes, we are doing relatively well in terms of treating patients with TB, HIV, but there's a missing group of those that are in the society. Now, how can we best identify? We can do so by getting everybody involved. Well, they live in a particular area where there's a councillor, where there's an Nkosi, where there's an Induna. Therefore, if you assemble all those leaders and actually charge them to be all of them take the responsibility. I'm sure we can go a long way towards really making an impact in terms of TB and HIV. MEC, you touched on a very important element. You speak of the missing infected people. I understand that it's one of the challenges um, around the consistent awareness towards decreasing and eventually ending the disease, especially in the province. Um, what is the main objective in terms of finding these missing infected people in the country? The objective is that um, TB is a communicable disease, if I have it and I move around in the society undiagnosed, unknown, I can infect many more. Now, if we can actually prevent that part of a situation, we can go a long way to us say, we have a group of South Africans that we know have got TB, all of them are getting treatment for six months and they are taking it religiously because we then can cure TB. TB can be prevented, also can be cured. But if we have another big group of people there 
who are undiagnosed, who probably don't even know that they've got TB, then that is becoming a high risk to the whole society. So all the efforts that we put in treating those that come forward is not going to be effective if you do not have those that are missing, that are undiagnosed, that are probably out there not coming into the fold of getting treatment. Thank you very much, MEC. Thank you very much for this. And of course, like the MEC has just said, that just a few meters away from where we are, that is where the main events for today will be hosted, where this consistent awareness towards um, decreases, the, decreasing this epidemic of tuberculosis in the country will be further articulated to members of society, of course spearheaded by all sectors of leadership in the province. But we will be hearing more updates on this dialogue that we've just started. But for now, let's go to Ed Break.